up, everybody, and welcome to the first episode. I'm Ryan Horn Trainer Steven. I'm Pokey Scientist Sean. And we want to be your Poe Town heroes, your source for all your standard budget needs. Uh, to give you guys an idea of like why you should listen to us and why why we're going to stand out, uh, give you guys a basic idea. Uh, my name's Steven. I've got about 10 years of Pokemon experience on and off. I'm Sean. I have about nine. And uh, we've... I, I will admit I've never had the best luck when it's come to uh, to pulling a lot of cards. I've always tended to get like the really junk rares, you know, the ones that are only like fifty cents, a dollar, and no one uses. Well, I uh, I've I kind of learned uh, even early on just to, how to build a deck to make those cards shine because I've I've never really had any good luck with cards. Yeah. I think Rhyperior level X is the the highest I ever end up getting in, in a pack. Yeah, and uh, I was running uh, Rapid Spin Dawn fan in the time. Yeah, uh, so we, we've always kind of focused on, on, on budget decks, but uh, even then, going through, we end up learning that the trading card game actually falls into like three categories. You have your competitive decks, your rogue decks, and your budget decks. Uh, your competitive decks. These are the these are the decks that that always get the headlines. These are the ones that are always winning all the major events. Your worlds, your regionals. This is your stuff like uh, Gardevoir, Metagross, Volcanion. I uh, and because of the fact they just hit really hard, they hit really fast, and they can they can they're so consistent that you never really have to worry about them. Then you have your rogue decks. These are your. Uh, these are all the decks that are made to go up against the meta t in order to to slow them down or just to have type advantage against them. Uh, right now we have uh, like Glissopod, Nine Tails, Zorark. Yep, uh, those are all examples of Rogue. And then we have Budget, which is what what we want to focus on. Uh, the thing is, is there is kind of a stigma with budget that budget is weak, budget is not made to be taken seriously, that I, that it's just really fun and not really worth the, worth your while. Except there's been several notable uh, budget decks throughout the years. Uh, primary example uh, that ended up winning didn't it win worlds like it was, last year? It was year runner before? up at 2015 worlds. Yeah, and that's Night March. Everything in the deck, uh, when it was first conceived, you could build for like under three dollars, and it was just climbing up the ladder. Uh, we also have uh, other ones like We Vile Porygon Z. We have uh, Genesect Venusaur, which has been slowly climbing up the ladder and doing relatively well at tournaments. Uh, Rainbow yeah. Road. Non Lele variants. The yeah, the non Leles, but even then, uh, Rainbow Road, it's. Oh, it's still a relatively budget deck, but it still does very, very well. And and that's where we want to focus. We want to focus on those fun budget uh, Pokemon decks using a lot of the junk rares that, that no one's going to use. And so you guys get an idea of what we mean by budget. It, again, it's just that. We're using the cheaper rares. We're going to find cards that really show, show off combos and just fun things that not a lot of people have, have really thought of and just to kind of give a break from the from the competitive because not not everyone plays competitive i i know i can, i never pull anything good to really run run the meta or competitive so we we just want to let those cards shine uh and there's also a lot of benefits to running budget you can uh you can teach newer players how to play you can i uh, you can uh, give them an idea of a deck to run that that's still kind of fun for them, uh, running their favorite Pokemon. Uh, gives uh, new mechanics to newer players, and it's just overall cheap fun. Uh, anything you want to add to that? Uh, that? If you can't have fun, find a different hobby. Exactly. Although, you know what, just sitting here and listening to us talk for a while is just absolutely boring, so I'm thinking... Let's give them a deck. Let's 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 throw something together. Which catch? I'm thinking we go a little dumber. Rhyperior? Uh, a little more destructive. Lantern? I'm thinking trashy. Wait, Guzzlord? I'm I'm thinking the Guzzlord. Guzzlord. 
devours worlds? Yeah. Well, let's do it. You know what? Yeah, we will. Uh, we'll we'll build Guzzlord and showcase it, and um, understand that we feel horrible about it. But we we want to throw in something fun for you guys because you've been listening to us ramble for a while. So uh, let's jump right into Guzzlord and hope you guys enjoy. We're garbage. We are garbage trainers. This is us. Th this this is a portrait of us. Our Lord and Savior. Yep. Because anyone who legitimately runs this deck is is no better than this pile of trash right here. That deck in question is Guzzlord. This, for one energy, you get to discard the top five cards of your deck. If any of those cards are energy, you attach it to this Pokemon. With 52 dark energy, that's not going to be an issue at all. For five, for five energy, you do Tyrannical Hole, does 180 damage. And then for its GX attack, for five dark energy, it does 100 damage. And if the opponent's Pokemon is knocked out by damage from this attack, you take two more prizes. So you take either a minimum of three prizes, or if you're going against a GX, four. If you run greedy dice and everything else, you could do more. You could potentially one a oh, one KO win with with a Guzzlord. That's only for the really really true Guzzlords out there. We run three Choice Band to hit harder. We do uh, two Guzma just to get, get around, around obstacles, get around anything, or, and then 52 Dark Energy. This is the deck that won several pre-releases. This is the deck no one wants to build or acknowledge until they get a Guzzlord, and then they build it just for the lulls once, and they lose friends. Th this deck is how you lose friends, how you lose credibility, and we're starting with it. You're bad. Stop. It's a, it's a, but no, but look, it's, it's Guzzlord. No. It's fun to be mean and evil. Oh. You know what, just, just because we are running it, we are garbage. At least you know it. Yes, That's we right. know it. We are garbage. You know what, I am not going to subject a human bird being make, to this deck. We won't make me a clone of this deck, just in case. No, no, <laughs> no, no, we're not cloning this deck. This, no, this is a one-shot. No. We, we're, we're doing this once. We're not even subjecting this to a human player. No human player deserves to go up against this. Yeah, this might be way too fast. Because you take only need one turn and go, go on second. Yep. Perfect. So this would be at least two turns. Yeah, we'll we'll do it against the computer player. We'll we'll take out Allie, because well it's it's the computer. We're gonna nom up some uh spoink. Yep, we're we're eating pig tonight. Not Riley Rabbit. But yeah, we. How come it didn't do anything? Resistance. Uh, oh, let's get rid of that let's, band. let's just get rid of let's it. Let's up. Good button. Let's get that three prizes. See if we can find a Guzma if we ever need it. It's, we're not going to need it. It's all dark energy. That's all this deck is, is dark energy. All we're doing is giving it a vessel. A very bad vessel. Amazing vessel. We, we, we are true guzzlords for running this guzzlord deck. Oh, and this CPU is going to let us basically destroy everything. Now, the thing is, is we could build a legitimate guzzlord deck. It, it is quite possible, but... When everyone hears Guzzlord, they immediately think this deck. We might as well just get it out of the way. I feel horrible about this. I... Oh, no, 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 I want to end this. We'll, de we'll, de we'll delay the inevitable. Oh, we, we want a full game. Nom, nom, nom. Get 
Yeah, but there's there's nothing that could really survive against this except for like stage two E at GXs. Yeah, the, the only things I could say survive against it, well that's the reason why we have Guzma. Yeah. Yay, victory. Oh wait, that was fast. Abilities? What abilities? You know what? Oh, no. Do it. But we are not subjecting anyone to this trash. It's it's done. From now on, we do legit decks, legit budgets, legit fun. Fun? What's that? We that is that a, is that a thing anymore? I uh, I want a real deck. I I don't want to do that again ever. Oh, real fun, not something that torments people. Exactly. Oh. It, in terms of fun, this is a five. In terms of budget, eh, it's sort of. Sort of, if you pull it, run it. But but I'm, I can guarantee you, if you run this deck, you will have no friends. You will lose but any. Have fun. You will lose any and all credibility. It's like Mario Kart. You could, in theory, run it on this to move up the ladder. But know that you are a guzzlord yourself for running that to get climb the ladder. But either way, uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Become a Poe Town hero yourself. Uh, hit us up on TCGO. Uh, we are Poe po underscore town underscore heroes. Uh, we would love to play, trade, just have overall fun with you guys. Uh, hit us up on Facebook, facebook.com slash Poe Town Heroes. And uh, look forward to when we run actual legit decks. Uh, and you guys just have fun. Good luck in all your games out there. Until next time.